Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. This was my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Today is the Radiating Crochet Blanket and this is a multi-point that grows from the center outward. Once you understand this pattern, how big that you want to make it is completely up to you. It's recommending Bernat Super Value Big Stripes. It's very much like a Karen Cake kind of format as far as changing the yarn colors on its own and it looks really quite amazing. Gonna need a five millimeter size H crochet hook in order to play today and we're gonna get started at the very beginning and I'm gonna take you to the point where you you can then uh, go as big as you need to go in order to be satisfied with this project. So without further ado, let's start in the beginning of this project. So let's begin. It says as a pattern note that the chain three at the beginning of a round counts as a double crochet and we'll cover that when we get there. So let's start off with the slip knot first and this is considered an easy level project and it truly is as well. So we're going to begin and we're going to chain four. So remember that the first one on the hook never counts as one. So we have one, two, three and four and insert the hook into the beginning chain and then yarning over pulling it through. So now you have the center ring of your entire blanket here. So what we're going to do is start with round number one and let's continue. So let's begin round number one. Unlike a typical star, this one actually has a larger interior before it actually starts to turn into a star format. So let's begin. We're gonna chain three. So there is your first double crochet because we already established that chain three at the beginning of the round is a double crochet. So we're gonna add 13 more double crochets into the center of this ring. So with the 13 plus this one gives you a total count of 14. So what you just need to do is that start and, and double crochet and say this is number two. Okay, so consider that chain three number one. So this is number two, three, and four and go all the way to 14 and meet me back here in just a moment. So I'm now currently at number 10. You may run out of middle space here. No big deal because you're in the ring you can just pull it and it will shift more space. So this will be 11, 12, 13, and 14. So 14 is the final. Now before I join it, I want you to verify that you do have 14. So count each one of the posts. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So as soon as you verify that, just join it to the top of the first double crochet and just slip stitch over and over. And there is your beginning. So what we're going to do now is move up to round number two. So round number two, we're going to start off and we're going to chain three which counts as a double crochet. In the same one that you have the join, place another double crochet. So here's the trick to number two. Each one of these posts are each gonna have two double crochets in them. So you just go one and then two into the same one. And what I want you to do is every one around put two double crochets in and meet me at the end of this round. So now coming all the way around, I've actually just finished this one looks like it's a stitch but it's not. So what you have is that this one is leaning towards here therefore it's part of that stitch. If you're not sure you should be able to count a total of 28 stitches going all the way around but and you could just easily count by groups of two. So one, two, three and etc. So you should have 14 groups of two or 28 double crochets. Once you know that just slip stitch to the beginning, top of the first chain three and bring it to a conclusion. Let's move on now to round number three. In round number three, we're now going to start making the points. So let's begin. Let's take it nice and slowly. So we're going to start off and we're gonna chain three. Now in the same one as the join, I need you to put in four more double crochets. So with the chaining of three and the four, that gives you a total of five double crochets and I want you to remember that number, number five. So once you get that done, just count it out. So there's your chain one. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now what we have to do is that we're going to create some, this is actually one of the points. You just can't see it yet. So what you have here is double crochet three together over the next, then using the next three. So the next three we're gonna put it together as one stitch. So wrapping the hook, go into the next stitch and insert in, pull through, pull through two and hold it. Do the same with the next one. So wrap into the next one, pull through, pull through two and hold it. And finally do the third one in, pull through, pull through two and hold it. Now those three are what you just need. Those are the three double crochet uh, together and this one here is the starting one. So you have a total of four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all of your loops. 
Now the next one that you have here is going to be five double crochets into the same one. So here is another point that you're making. So one, two, three, four, and five. Whoops, I gotta redo my fifth one. So you got your fifth, uh, five in there. So then what are you gonna do? So it's a repeat pattern. So the next three are gonna be together. So wrapping, going into the next one, pull through, pull through two and hold it. Wrap, the next one, pull through, pull through two and hold it. And wrap, going in, pull through, pull through two and hold it. And now you have four loops back on your hook, pull through them all and then five double crochet in the next one. So what I want you to do is repeat this patterning going all the way around and we are now establishing the points and the spaces in between, or the indentations in between. It's just not so obvious yet but you can put trust in me at this point. It's happening. So let's uh, continue all the way around. I'll see you at the end of this round. So I'm coming all the way around and I'm going to put the last three together and then I'm done this round. This is number three pull through and then just slip stitch it to the top of the first chain three and that brings the conclusion. Can you tell how many points there are on this? Let me just back up the camera a little bit. Maybe you can tell. How many points will there be? So you'll see one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we can tell at this point because I can tell in the photo that this is going to be a seven point star configuration. So let's begin round number four. So right where we are, we need to move over one more stitch. So we need to go over and slip stitch. Just one over and then just yarn over and through and through. So now we're sitting technically on the second one of the grouping of five that we have. So let's begin. We're going to chain three. So one, two, three and it says to put in two double crochets as the same uh, in the same stitch as the slip stitch. So let's just put in two more of those. So we have one and two. So with the chaining of three and those two, there's three into the same stitch. So now that the three are in there, the next one is going to be a popcorn. How we do a popcorn is that we're going to chain, sorry, we're going to double crochet five times in the same stitch. So let's count those out. So we have one, two, three, four and five. Now this is considered a right hand, a right side popcorn. It doesn't say right side but it is. So you're just, and I'm just being technical. So you're just gonna take this off and you're gonna go to the first one of the group of five and go from the front to the back on the first one of the grouping of five. Put the loop back on and pull it through. And now it says in the next stitch put in three more double crochets. So one, two and three. So when we look at it we had three that we started. We have a popcorn and then we have three on the other side of the popcorn. So what we're going to do now is that the next three in a row will each be uh, together. So we're going to put three together. So just wrap the hook first, grab the next stitch, pull through and do the next one and then the next one. And then you have your three on there like you did before. So there should be a total of four loops and pull through. So let's begin again. So you can see that you're on the second one of the grouping of five. So in that one there's gonna be three double crochets. So one, two and three. And then the next one is the middle one of the grouping of five and that's gonna be a popcorn. So we have to put five double crochets first. So one, two, three, four and five. Once you get your five, drop it, go to the first one of the grouping of five, go from the front to the back, put it back on, pull it through and the next stitch right after the popcorn is three double crochets. So we have one, two and three. And now to go to the next point here, the next three in a row will be together. So just put those together. And then the next one after that, so we're in this grouping of five, it's the second one in and it's gonna be three double crochets first. Okay, the next one is the middle one of the grouping of five and that's gonna be a popcorn. So you gotta put in five double crochets. So one, 
two, three, four, and five. Release it, go to the first one in the grouping of five, put it back on, and then three double crochets on the other side. So continue that same idea going all the way around and you're creating the really neat look and it's awesome. So you're gonna have three together which will be the next three and then there'll be three in the next one, popcorn, three in the next one and then three together and so on. So you're looking like you're really awesome at this moment. So please do that and meet me back here in just a moment. So I'm coming up all the way back around and I'm just finishing up this last section. So there's three double crochets right after the last popcorn there and then finally the last three stitches come together for th uh, three double crochet together and then that's it. So bring that together and then just join it to the top. So remember what we talked about is that we had seven of these spokes and when you look at it from this perspective there should be a total of seven popcorns. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good to go. Let's move on now to round number five. Now round number five now becomes how we're gonna be doing it for the remaining of the growth of this thing. So you just gotta watch it. So right when we finish we're always in the wrong location when we go to start. So what we need to do is that we always need to move over and shift over one. So just go over one and slip stitch and this is where you're going to begin. Now because this is round number five you're gonna chain three which counts as your first double crochet and then the next stitch that you'll have is right before the popcorn. It's the one right before. You're going to apply your three double crochets like you did before. So one, two, and three. So what is different about this round versus the round before? Well before we started off and we put three into the same one. This time there's one standing by itself and then three. So what do you think is gonna happen on number six? There's gonna be two in a row by itself and then number seven there's gonna be three in a row by itself and etc. So in the top of the popcorn that already is there, what we're going to do is add another popcorn in there. So there's gonna be five double crochets in the same ones. So this is two, three, four, and five. So just drop it and go to the first one of the five, grab it. And now the stitch right after it is going to have three double crochet. So one, two and three and now because we are getting bigger the next one is one by itself just like you see and then the next three in a row are together. So we're just gonna put the next three together, double crochet three together. Okay so let's start another side. So the next one is one double crochet by itself. Let's try that again. So one by itself and then the one is just before the popcorn so there's gonna be three double crochets in that one. So one, two, three. The next one is a popcorn so we're just gonna maintain it. So we're gonna put five more in there. So one, two, three, four, and five. Drop it, go to the first one of five through and then the next one right after it's gonna be three double crochet. So one, two, and three. And because we're getting bigger the next one is one double crochet by itself and then finally the next three are together. So if you can always kind of look see how this one is there. So you can see that that one plus the one before and after will always come together. So there will be three together double crochet. Okay, so let me just talk out the next one. So it's gonna be one by itself, three into the next, you got your popcorn, three into the next, one by itself, and then three together. Please do that remaining all the way for number five. So eventually you'll come back all the way around and I've just done one by itself and the final three become together to complete off round number five. and then just join it. So they put round number six and seven on the pattern. You can notice that there's really no points happening. As this thing gets bigger the points start to form. But at this point it's not ready yet. It's not enough stitches in there to cause that to happen. So let's move on now to round number six. 
you were going to slip stitch over one. I promised you we have to do that. We have to do it every time. So you're going to chain three. So there's your first double crochet. The next double crochet is also by itself. So instead of one by itself, it's now gonna be two. So then round number seven, it's gonna be three and round number eight will be four and etc. The one before the popcorn still gets three double crochets. So one, two, and three. And then the popcorn keeps being a popcorn all the way through to the end. So there's gonna be five in there. So this is number two, three, four and five. Drop it, go to the first one, pick it and now go to the one right after the popcorn. It's still gonna be three into the same one. And so this time it's gonna be two double crochets by itself. So one and two. Okay, so the middle one that you can see here plus the one before and after becomes together. So you're gonna put the next three together. And then what you're going to do then at this point is that you're gonna come up the other side and just simply just put two double crochets by itself, put three double crochets in the next one, popcorn, three double crochets, two by itself and then the next three together to take you to the next point. Please do that all the way around and I'll see you at the end of round number six. So I'm coming up all the way around to number six, you know, on number six and I'm gonna put the last three together and then we're gonna start up number seven. So at this point you should understand how things are growing so just attach it to the first one. So let's just recap for going number seven because the rest of the rounds are exactly the same. It just keeps getting bigger in as the points grow further apart from each other. So slip stitch to the first one. So that because this is number seven and just gotta remember uh, where you are is that you're gonna chain three and now the next two in a row are by themselves. So these get more and more as you go and then right before the popcorn it's gonna be three double crochet or three double crochets as you know it. So we're just adding more stitches in between the points. Now in the popcorn you're gonna place another popcorn so we're gonna continue that up right to the outside uh, edge of this. So there's five double crochets there that make up a popcorn. Okay drop. Now on the other side of the popcorn like as always there's gonna be three double crochets. If you figured out why there's three double crochets after a popcorn well this is where it's growing uh, the, this is where you're gaining one extra stitch for when you're able to move and then you're adding an extra one. This is where it's happening. So the next three in a row because you've gotten bigger is by themselves. And if you're ever lost at all just look for that middle one right here and the one before it and the one after. Those are the ones, those are the three that come together. So if you can look for that it makes it a lot easier and you don't have to count as much either. So then it's three going back up the other side. So you're seeing that the point is starting to develop a little bit more. See how this is kinda getting sucked in a little bit further. So as you get out more this gets sucked in even further and the point gets pushed out. So this is the one right before the popcorn so it's gonna be three double crochet. Okay and then there's a popcorn sitting on top of the other popcorn. Okay drop it. Okay and then there's three double crochets after the popcorn. And then you come down the side there. So this time it's three in a row but you can look for where this is as well and make that determination of when you should stop. So the next three in a row are together and this is gonna make that suck in even more and then you go up the other side. So three in a row then three in the next popcorn, three in, in the next, three in a row 
and then three together and etc. Please do that all the way around and this will become the conclusion of today's tutorial because all, it's all you have to do is that you just have to keep on getting bigger. It says to go to 30 inches but you can stop as big as you need to go and uh, you'll see that the colors will change on its own if you're using a self striping yarn and I think it's really awesome. There is a tutorial on how to do tassels here on the Crochet Crowd Learning Channel as well as Yarn Inspirations and this is as good as it's gonna get today and this is an awesome day. So that's it for today. Have a great day. We hope to see you again real soon right here on the Crochet Crowd and Your Inspirations. Bye-bye.